Hey, how's everybody doing today? I just want to take a quick look over the SimApp Pro application, how the WinWing base works with that versus the F18 style, which is a totally different animal altogether. I mean, you, you'll end up seeing, you know, as we go along, that the F16 base is not like any other base that you've used. If you've used anything from Thrustmaster, Verbal, Wind Wing, this is not like anything else. I think there's only one other one I've seen by a company called Real Sim, and they are very, very expensive. This is expensive, but that stuff is like really, I think it wants like $400 just for the, just for the stick alone. But anyways, let's take a quick look at what we're getting in here. So the MFSSB stands for Movable Force Sensor Stick Base. It's not a force feedback base, although you do get some vibrations from it, but that's kind of like a warning that you're kind of pulling too hard. It might vibrate and you can also get a beep from it, which I'll demonstrate that right now. But first, you can just get a quick idea of if you're using, I guess you could call it the standard movement of any joystick base or joystick that we've had in the past few years. I mean, you can see forward, back, left and right, all the way around. You get a lot of movement. And that's because the F-18s and older were all mechanical. Basically, everything was controlled on the planes with a linkage. With the F-16, and we're just going to call it the F-16 base. I'm not going to go over the whole MFSSB thing every time. With this, everything is applied pressure. And that's pretty much all you get forward and back left right forward and back whatever you want to call it anyways you probably get an i don't know maybe an eighth of an inch or a little bit more now we'll take a look at the simap pro and how that kind of works and by, by no means am i an expert i've only been messing around with this base for a couple of weeks and flying and using this base is a whole different feel and even in DCS or Microsoft Flight Sim or whatever you're going to use this in, it's a whole different game. It took me, and it's still taking me some time to get used to it because things are so precise. It's hard to even explain what it's like to just touch the stick a little bit sideways and the plane just leans over. All right, let's take a look at the app. So we have over here, well, let me move this over a little bit. Camera's blocking some of it. So, of course, we have the F-18. You can see how that works. Ball the dot, up, aft, left, right. And on the other hand, we have the F-16 base. Now, this turns into something, like I said, it's a whole different animal. Yeah, I keep going for the... I keep going for the center stick. Okay, so this just right here shows you, just like with the F-18 base, it just gives you a diagram of how much you can move your stick forward, back, left, and right again, once again. With the F-16 base, you get an additional little box over here with some other controls in it. You can get a buzzer test. You can get a boundary beep which means if you're going out of bounds, pulling too hard or pushing too hard or leaning. And you can get also a boundary vibration, which basically works kind of like this. It's hard to see, but you do get a little vibration. I don't know if it's anything like what the uh, force feedback would be like. You can turn on the boundary beep, which will tell you if you're pulling too far, too hard. See, it's all it takes. So right there is 100%. I'm going to shut those off for now. And we'll take a look at the config. So you have different settings over here. You're going to have different modes to select from. You have force and displacement mode. You have force only mode. And you have full realistic. I watched some other videos. I'm not going to say I don't watch other videos. And I got the same pretty much reaction from the base that everyone else did. Full realistic mode just didn't work for me. It was, it was difficult. It didn't feel realistic at all. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why they call it full realistic mode, but maybe it is. I've never flown an F-16 in real life, so not sure. The force only mode, that's just pretty much, it's a lot. It, 6 kg is a lot of weight when you're pushing forward. And if you're doing that for 15, 20 minutes, your hand starts to get tired. Your whole arm gets tired. Force and displacement mode seems to be the most common one that everybody goes with. So up here you have where it says displacement, you have your current values. So this is where I got a little bit lost. When I first had it, 
I didn't realize that the 6kg can be adjusted. The values can be adjusted right here. So basically you can grab this and every time you every time you move the values around, you have to hit set to complete. If you don't hit set to complete, it won't save the values. And it's kind of a pain in the, the butt. I hope they change that in the future because it would be nice to be in game and be able to bring it up and test things out as you go along. Up here you have values. I pretty much fell within the movement value. I guess this would be how um, the values would be, how it reacts at certain points of pressure. You can see right here. Now, if I didn't have it set at 13, you can go from 40% to 0%, obviously. If I didn't have it set at, say, 13, 14, everybody pretty much found, as, as well as I did, I, I thought I could try 20, 16, it didn't, didn't work out. 13 seems to be the sweet spot. So you go with 13% up here, perfect starting point. You, Everybody is, you know, every individual is going to come up maybe with something a little bit different. Some of the other pilots, sim pilots that I was, that I watched, they, some of them had values over here of the amount of pressure it takes of 20, 25. Some people stayed all the way with the 6 kg, which I just found to be way too much. So as you can see, here, here, and, and as long as you're pulling it there, once you get it to this point, you're at 100%. You hold that there, you're going straight up and over. Straight down, complete roll. And if you're just going to do, say, you want to roll on your side, all you got to do is hold it there and it'll stay pretty steady. Okay, so we're back now. And what we're going to do is jump in my server, which is hosted by Fox 3 Managed Solutions. I'd like to thank them again for supplying the server. My server name is DFA Server. Right now, mostly training missions in there. But anybody that wants to go in, feel free to check it out. That's D as in Delta, F as in Foxtrot, A as in Alpha, Server. I usually just have F-16s, F-18s in there. So if you're just looking for a place to go fly around, there may even be a mission up and running. You're more than welcome. If you're interested in joining my Discord, that's pretty much the same exact name as my YouTube channel, JP's Tech and Gaming Reviews. Feel free to jump in. Okay, so here we are in the map. This is the Nellis, or actually, yeah, I guess Nellis map. And don't mind my playing. I'm a little bit outnumbered in here. I just want to pretty much give a demonstration of the F-16 and how the stick works. So I'm probably going to get shot down. Anyways, let's roll out. Most of these strips are big enough to pretty much just take off from, from where you are. So let's keep an eye on how much force is needed on the stick. Okay, nose wheel steering is off. Just right around 180, 90, start to pull back, and it doesn't take much. There it goes. Landing gear up. And what do we have in here for some planes? I'm using very little force on this right now. Okay, let's uh, master arm switch on. Everything else looks pretty good. Okay, we're about 19 miles out from a target. Fox 3, and splash. 
No, he's trying hard. Oh, not hard enough. I'm locked on to one guy at about 12 miles. Let's switch over to this guy. The burner's ripping by. Hey, guy. See them traces buzzing by? <laughs> This one out of the way. That's one thing I'm noticing about the F-16. You gotta be light when you land or forget it. Well, I hope with the VR the graphics are gonna be this nice. It looks just so different in the video and I, I don't even think the videos can truly explain what it's probably like to really be in VR. I just hope I can handle it because I have tinnitus and I might have to keep a bucket close by. Well anyways, like I said, time to land so what I'm going to do is drop all this extra weight. I have the wind wing PTO2 set up pretty much so I can use some of the same buttons to drop all the stores, or most of them. Altitude. I am definitely Altitude. going too fast for that runway. Let's go out this way. We'll go out this way, folks, yeah. Shut that light off. I'd rather take a run at the longer runway. Love the sound of the F sixteen. So yeah, here we are. You can pretty much get an idea of what it's like. I know a couple former Air Force pilots that remarked on this and said surprisingly how accurate it is to the real thing. So that was a good thing. Altitude. Altitude. traffic running around in there. Keep the no 
goes up a little. I forgot, is it 15 degrees, something like that? miles an hour and drop it. All right, well, I hope I didn't make a fool of myself. <laughs> um, still getting used to this stick it's like I said it's a whole different world compared to the regular base I really do like it I'm enjoying learning how to use it I know it's a little bit pricier for a couple pieces of metal that they carve out and make the stick move less than it originally did but I suppose it's pretty close to what the real thing is I they, they think it is so I don't know anyways I'm gonna wrap this video up here if you're not new to the channel and you'd enjoyed the video feel free to give a like don't forget to share so if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe I'd really do appreciate and if you've been around for a while and you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and share. On that note, I'm starving, man. Time to eat something. Everybody, hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Peace.